So, uh, before we really begin anything in this segment, it is imperative that we surf over here and get the Dream Eater TM from this dude. I could also use Cut, but that would be too easy. It's not like I'm gonna use it, but, I mean, here it is. Still think it's weird that, uh, Drowsy just doesn't learn that move naturally. I'm not sure what other stuff can learn it, but probably nothing I care about. Because uh, last time I checked, I don't have any sleep moves on my team. So anyway, let's put away Nidor Queen. Don't need you anymore. And I have nothing but Fat Hideo on the team, and you know what that means. We're about to do some Mew Glitch garbage. But um, before I do, I want to uh, look straight into the camera and tell you how much money I have. Three dollars. Sorry, I had to do it. Alright, so, um... Anyways. Let's frickin' do this shit. Um, now this is actually gonna be repeated quite a few times, so thankfully you're only gonna have to watch the first one. You don't even really need to watch the first one, but I'm subjecting you to it anyway because I'm an awful person. And let's hope that this guy is not, uh, randomly disabled now. That would be sad. Okay, good. It's always a fear. I still have to use this quite a few times. So let's lose to this dude. I still feel like I'm taking more steps down than necessary to activate him. I'm not sure why that's happening. Come on. There we go. Alright, well, I've done all I needed to do. At least for the first run of this. This was uh, not actually part of my original plan. Um, it changed because I happened to see that it was a thing. I, I don't know if that's really a good way of explaining it because I didn't use any words in that sentence, but... Also, what am I doing? I don't need all of you. I just need you. Dugong should be sufficient for this. So, um, I actually forgot about this last time. I'm sure a lot of you didn't, but, uh, on our way to Victory Road here, um, there is another rival fight I have to deal with. And it turns out that one of his Pokemon happens to spawn something that I want. Specifically in this playthrough. Um, it doesn't if he has a Flareon or a Vaporeon. Um, I actually didn't even remember giving him a Jolteon in this playthrough, but apparently I did. I seriously have no memory of that. <laughs> Sandslash, always having a great cry. Alright, so all I have to do is uh, survive his first couple Pokemon and then intentionally lose to the Ninetales once it comes out. We're going to be getting some uh, extra experience out of this also, so... I think once I go through the fight proper, I'm probably not going to be using Dugonglid. Do I still find that the weirdest and best name. I have that tendency to like not actually use my Pokemon's nicknames, and it has always been a thing, and it's like carried over into this playthrough, but part of the reason is because I always name them really stupid stuff. So anyway, there we go. I think I saw a video once of like the rivals like having victory text in other battles. Because I think like in the first battle, if you lose, he says like, "Yeah, am I great or what?" And then like in the later ones, he was supposed to have text, but it doesn't show up for some reason. I'm not sure. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and grab Firebird, I suppose. And do I have anything? Yeah, I have Fat Hideo. Need fat to do anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So let's make sure that this actually worked properly, and then we'll get to repeat this uh, several more times, as you'll see. This is not the bathroom. Yeah, returning to the to the wrong route, always, uh, always a good thing. You'd think by now, I would have done this trick enough times to remember how it frickin' works. Evidently not. Front. Eh, 
There we go. So yeah, I have to catch four of these bastards. Um, because obviously three evolutions, plus I want to keep one as an EV. Oh yeah, I forgot I have animations turned off. I'll try to remember to turn those back on after I get done with the Mugulich garbage. So, um... I was originally not planning on catching EV through this method. Also, I only have one Great Ball left after la the last video's ending. Let's see if it works. Nope. Alright, well, never using any more Great Balls for the rest of the playthrough. There we go. But yeah, there's a particular trainer in Victory Road that also produces an EV, so I was gonna just use her. I think it's a girl, I don't remember. Um, but then I saw that uh, I can do it off the rival here, so it's like, whatever, I might as well. But yeah, time to uh, actually not return here. Because <laughs> again, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. But yeah, time to do that three more times. You don't need to watch that shit. Alright, that annoying crap is done. Um, it took a fair amount of time, longer than I would have liked, but whatever. Um, it's also worth pointing out that on the fourth EV, um, the like thing that triggered the fight instead of the start menu just popping up like this, um, it was a dialogue box that said, Why? Why? And I don't know where that came from. It was kind of creepy. But anyway. So, uh, Dugonglid has risen to level 35 just from KOing uh, Crumpet's first few Pokemon several times here, so it is no longer a part of the team. Um, I've switched it around a bit, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a couple quick KOs with uh, Blizzard here. I don't outspeed, and I probably have a much worse special stat, but uh, plus no stab, but Blizzard's still a strong move. Yeah. And the Sand Slash doesn't seem to be terribly threatening. I'm not sure why it's using Poison Sting. I'm assuming it doesn't have a ground move, or otherwise it would use it. It's kind of weird, though. So, anyway. Finish this one off. When I, uh... was testing stuff before the actual recording, I, uh... Like I was saying earlier, couldn't actually remember, like, what evolution the rival had in my playthrough, so I had to double check, um, and so I ended up, like, ah, fuck. <laughs> and the 90% accuracy finally comes into play. Oh well. You tried. Here, you can finish it off. But yeah, um, I couldn't remember what he had, so I had to basically go through this entire team just to kind of double check and um by the time I got to the Jolteon like I had realized that I was severely overthinking how hard this fight was going to be because like before I actually started this um like when I just when I suddenly remembered that this fight existed I'm like oh shit I might actually have to grind for this one nope to be fair, I'm not that under-leveled. I mean, I'm almost 10 levels lower than him, but I guess that doesn't make that big of a difference. It's Gen 1. It's not like the AI uses tactics. <laughs> I mean, they don't really in later games anyway, but they're particular, but particularly bad in Gen 1. Mainly because there's not many, like, good choices of moves in most cases, anyway. That was a very useful withdraw there. So this Kadabra, last time I tried to get rid of with Pin Missile, and uh, it didn't work so well. So further proving that Pin Missile was n not really that great of a choice. <laughs> I mean, it does, it does some decent damage, but it's also very up to luck how many times it hits. And this thing's probably going to use Recover. Or not, okay. Actually, that worked fairly well. I It took me like four or five attacks to kill it last time. And Mirror Match. Um, I'll at least try to 
Yeah, okay. Raise your speed because you're outspeed me anyway. Good. And now your speed is shit. And now I'm gonna switch. And now you're gonna get a uh, earthquake to the face. And how will you like that? When Gordon Lightfoot is creeping around your back stair. Don't know what that means. Alright. Well, that's dealt with. What? Okay, bye. Eh. Of course, I would get into a battle on the way back. So, um, going through Route 23 and Victory Road is going to require some HM usage, so uh, we will not be able to go in with a full team. We're going to need Nitto Queen for this. And um, I'm hoping that's all I need, because there is at least one more Mew glitch I have to do out of Victory Road. I say at least one. I'm pretty sure it's only one. Let me look at the map again real quick. Uh, should just be the one. Yeah, because there was... Originally I was going to get Eevee here, and I was going to get Ekans here until I found better alternatives for them, so there's only one more thing I have to get here. But anyway, let's, uh, I guess, just put away whoever's highest level which is a tie between several things. You still need to evolve. I would very much like you to evolve before the end of the playthrough, so I'm keeping you around. Um, these choices, I feel like I've had Brexit around for quite a long time, so you can take a break. Get you out for HMs, and I should be good. So, yeah, let's uh, get started on this. So I don't really have any kind of coherent story or rant prepared for today, but um, more just general work-related antics and not even customer stories or anything. Because um, uh, yesterday, which for the record, again, just for like people watching not the day it comes out and don't feel like scrolling down to see what date this was, uh, yesterday was September 10th, which is not a holiday or a noteworthy day in any way, but um, it was a big day at Pizza Hut because apparently people here go fucking batshit insane over the Dallas Cowboys, and so it was the first like it it was their first game of the season, and so like the manager Ashley has worked there for like 15, 16 years, so she knows when it's gonna get stupid, and um. I'm glad that she did because we overprepared like crazy for that day and it still was really bad. Um, so the night before, um, everybody kind of had like extra jobs they had to do and as I've stated a multi on multiple occasions, um, I'm usually like the only person to ever do boxes so I'm just kind of the box guy um, and that extended into my duties on Saturday, um, where not only did I have to just kind of fill the room with boxes anyway, but I also had to create a gigantic surplus of them. So, um, I've got pictures of these boxes, and I'm going to insert them right here. So before I forget, let me let me let me show the numbers. So, on the main shelf with larges, the top shelf has 175, the bottom shelf has 96. There's also 10 large dinner boxes there. On the shelf of mediums, there's 231 mediums, and I created a stack in front of them of an additional 93, I think. It was 100, but I had to use a few. Um, and also behind them is 20 regular-sized dinner boxes. And then on the other wall, I've got 115 more larges, I think was the number. Um, 
And this is not counting the boxes that are already out in like the by the cut table where they actually box the pizzas, where I have another 48 large, 26 medium, 20 regular sized dinner boxes, and I think 24 large dinner boxes. So there's a shit ton of boxes is what I'm trying to say. Oh, don't you talk about my boxes! I like boxes! <laughs> and, um, while I was working yesterday, um, had to come in at noon, didn't get out until 9, and it was fucking awful, um, but while I was working there, I also folded another 100 mediums. I think I have a picture of that that I can insert here. And I probably did another 150 larges to kind of keep the stack by the wall constantly filled. And um, by the time that I left at 9 o'clock, um, we had depleted that entire stack. And I'm pretty sure the entire bottom shelf with 96 and we're cutting into the top shelf of the other 175. People ordered a fuck ton of pizza that day. I had no idea that a random football game that isn't even, like, a major game of the season or anything, like, this isn't the Super Bowl, this is just the first game. I guess everybody wanted to watch it, I don't frickin' know. But yeah, it was, it was frickin' bad. Um, like, on an average weekday, by the end of the day, I would say we get, like, maybe 180 orders. Like, maybe 200. It's kind of hard to say. Um, and on a Sunday, like, maybe 250. Weekends are, like, I don't count Sunday as a weekend. Like, Friday and Saturday are our busy days, and on those, it's typical to get up to at least 300. But, um, Sundays usually aren't that bad. But, uh... Let me switch up the team a little bit. But yeah, yesterday, by the time I left at 9, we were already up to 330, I think. And um, keeping in mind, this is number of orders, not number of pizzas. There were people ordering like 4 or 5 pizzas per order. There was one earlier on in the day that ordered 11. Um, just, I don't freaking know. It, it was... I, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> It's gonna, apparently this is gonna happen every time the Cowboys have a game, but I, she said that, like, this was gonna be the worst one. I hope that's the case. If they make it to the Super Bowl or anything, then I don't know if we'll come out of that one alive, so I really hope they don't. Um, I don't know anything about football or what teams are good, so I don't know what the odds of that are, but I can certainly root against them. Um, but yeah, like I said, not really much specific to talk about, just it was a busy day. I was extremely tired at the end of it, because I had already, like, I was there until one folding boxes the last night, and then, um, we went home and, uh, Allie and Anton came over and we watched Iron Giant, and we didn't actually, like, I didn't get to sleep until, like, 3.30, and by get to sleep, I mean attempting to go to sleep. I couldn't actually sleep that night. It was really annoying. Um, I'm looking for a knit arena, by the way. J just so you know. Um, come on. But yeah, it, it was just, it was an annoying day. I'm glad it's over. And I was not supposed to work today, which I was looking forward to. But uh, somebody else called in, so I have to fill in for them, so that's fun. So I work 3 to 9 today. Does Knit Arena actually exist? There we go. Google.com Not sure why I said Google.com. I just, it, it seemed like the right thing to do. Alright, so I caught all the stuff on this route. I'm poisoned, which is annoying. I did actually buy some items. I'm actually not going to bother healing that. Um, what I plan on doing is stepping foot in Victory Road, catching the stuff I need to, and then basically booking it. And then I'll go back, I'll like go back heal and then come back here. 
Um, because I also need to look up the list of hidden items. I forgot to get that open on the side. I will say, I enjoy the individual badge checks on the way to Victory Road. It's a lot more engaging than just having one dude. He's like, oh, you got all eight badges, go ahead. Which is what they do in most of the other games. I know they brought back the individual badge checks in uh, black and white. I think was the first time they did that. Not counting Fire Red Leaf Green. I can't remember if they've done that another one since that. So yeah, in here I'm just looking for Machoke and Graveler. I don't know if they're on this first floor. I assume they are. But, um... There's like a puzzle up in the corner of this room that you have to complete twice to get both of the items anyway, so I might as well start working towards that. And take poison damage every few steps, and get into a battle every few steps, and just all in all, it's gonna be... it's gonna be a fun time. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get through Victory Road in this video. Once I leave to heal, I'll probably check how long the recording's been and judge from there. I like how the first floor of Victory Road is just a giant J. It's... There's nothing wrong with it being a giant J, it's just I'm not really sure why it is. Alright. So... I think one of these is a rare candy, and I don't know what the other one is, but we gotta get them both, so... 43, what is that? Is that Sky Attack? Because if that's Sky Attack, then that's relevant to my interests. Ooh, okay. So I'll be bringing Pito for this trip, because, uh... I'll get, actually get to make use of that. And now that I think about it, I probably need to clone that TM. God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna cl I, I'm gonna have to clone that. I mean, I, I'm not gonna teach it to anybody else, but as I've established multiple times, I don't like using unique TMs without cloning them. So after I grab whatever this other item is and leave to heal, that is definitely going to be something I do. Now that I think about it, I also need to activate Mew Glitch going into Victory Road for that other trainer. So it's like. I really didn't plan this out very well. There's Graveler. I don't know if Machoke is on this floor, but I can at least catch this thing. Turns out Absorb kills it. I wasn't sure how much it would actually do. I didn't think it would do that much, because it is quite effective, but it's, it's Absorb. And dead. Yeah, I think the only things I actually have left to catch at this point, not counting Mew Glitch stuff, um, are the Machoke, Moltres... Is that it, actually? There might be a couple things that are exclusive to Cerulean Cave, and by exclusive I mean, like, as evolutions. I have a list, I just don't have the list open. Um, which I could technically get into the cave early by doing with a walkthrough walls trick. I, I'll i see how I feel about doing that, like, in the next video. I don't know. Okay, so now that we've gone through all that garbage, what did I actually do all that for? Is it a rare candy? Because I can't imagine it's anything that I really care about all that much, but it's an item. I've got to get it. Yeah, okay. And I don't really want to fight this trainer when half my team is dead. I probably could, though. What does she have? Well, she spawns a Missling No and a Jigglypuff. So. Let's let's go for it. I'm going to save first, because I can't use Nidoqueen. The moment I get... Any EVs added to that thing is the moment I can no longer clone items, so I need to be mindful of that. Once again, trainers with whips. Every trainer must have a whip. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if they, like, tried to pass that off as a microphone. I don't know. Oh, my favorite, Persian. Uh, yeah, just 
fucking earthquake it. Oh, hey, okay, free money. Which means I get to spend that money because I have to intentionally lose a battle for Muglitch later. Wait, do I? Yeah, I do. Alright, I, uh, once again, highly overestimated how that battle was gonna go. There's another trainer over in the corner, but they've got four, and I don't want to deal with that right now. That might be the person with the three middle form starters and Charizard. I seem to remember that person existing in Victory Road, but... Whatever, let's just freaking leave. Okay, so once again, list of things I'm about to do. Heal. Do Mew Glitch to clone a uh, clone the sky attack TM. Change up the team. Come back. Find hidden items. Probably end video. We'll find out. So uh, this has been a fun process. Um, since I need to intentionally lose to a trainer in Victory Road and I need my HM user to even get to that trainer, um, I'm basically trying to lose intentionally to a wild Pokemon here. So yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, here's the team I brought. I mean, I don't know why you would really care, but there it is. Um, I'll put you in the front even though you're the highest level. Actually, I immediately take that back. I'm going to put you in the front because you need the levels more. Um, I did clone the TM though, so let me go ahead and teach that. It's a two-turn move. Two-turn moves are kind of not amazing, but it's better than wing attack by, like, a pretty substantial margin, so we'll go with it. And before we head onwards to Victory Road, time to get hidden items. That's everybody's favorite part of the LP, so there should be one on, like, a little island. I don't know why. It just kind of is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I think there was also one right where I was dying to a Pokemon, yeah. There we go. And apparently there's one more. It is a pile of four rocks near a wall. I don't know where that is. It is right here, apparently. Alright, now that we've uh, accomplished our greatest goals in life, time to do the stupid strength boulder puzzle again. I haven't done that enough times. And, um, I suppose I shouldn't worry about self-preservation too much, because I do have to still lose to that trainer, but I don't know how many other trainers I'm fighting before them, so I'll try not to lose, like, all my team. Also, I looked up the uh, list of Pokemon I need to catch still, and um, the only thing that appears in Cerulean Cave that I can't get anywhere else, other than Lickitung, which I already got earlier, is uh, Sand Slash. And I do have a thing for, like, catching evolutions rather than evolving, if possible. But, uh, I don't think I want to bother. Like... I still want to complete the decks before beating the Elite Four, and I don't necessarily want to do walkthrough walls to get into Cerulean Cave early, because that sounds like a really annoying thing to do. So, um, I'll just evolve a Sand True. It's not like it's going to be that much work. Okay, so are you the starter guy? I seem to remember you being the starter guy. Uh, yep, middle forms of all three starters, and then also just a Charizard for some reason. So let's uh, get some attack boosts, somehow dodge Razor Leaf, and see how much damage we can do. I am satisfied with that. Spagublio might still be the worst nickname I've ever come up for something. Like... I don't know. I've got some other pretty bad names on this team, but uh, I think this one might take the cake. 
And you know what? Let's be stupid and use Metronome, even though there's a high probability of it picking a status move. I want to see what it gets. Okay, that works. And here's good old Chirac. Always in and out of prison, that Chirac. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. And dead. Let's actually not be dead. Um, or be dead anyway, that, that that's fine too, I guess. Alright, well that was certainly a trainer. Jump kick. I assume that is stronger than rolling kick. I should probably verify this before I replace it. Let's see. Going to Sarah B, seeing some kind of event on the homepage that I don't know about and we'll have to look at later. Trying to navigate tiny ass screen. Can't see anything. Making you stare at a menu. Okay, jump kick is 70, rolling kick is 60. Accuracy is actually slightly higher, believe it or not. It has the, like, recoil if you miss, but it's 95%. I'm okay with that. Rolling kick does have the flinch chance, but... I don't know. We'll go with jump kick. Knowing my luck, um, half the time I use Metrodome, I'll probably get rolling kick anyway. Wasn't that, like, a thing that kept happening? Something similar to that, at least. I think I have a chance with this guy! Alright. Um, horrible noises aside, let's put you in the front because you can't run from wild encounters, and that's apparently what I want. I don't freaking know. Uh, where's that trainer? They're in this room, I just can't... Okay, they're, like, a little bit away. Gotta reactivate strength, because I went up a ladder. Can't keep strength after going up a ladder, you know, that makes a difference. Hello, Golbat. Golbat recoiling in horror from some off-scene thing. I'm not going to be able to run from you, so I'm not even going to try. There we go. Now that I know that Golbat's on this floor, I should probably not have Tannis in the front. Continues to have Tannis in the front anyway. I might be able to run from you. Yeah. Okay, so here's a dude. This is not the dude I need to lose to. This guy has two Magnetons and a Hitmonchan as his uh, spawn. There's a thing I need to catch. Clearly I'll catch this one. Also, I'm weak to fighting. Um, it's not like there's many good fighting moves. I don't know. Might use Submission or something. Let's just use Blizzard. I don't give a shit. Oh. Okay. What do you say we kill it with Absorb? Let's not actually kill it with Absorb. Do I want to take this time to heal anybody, actually? Eh. I could. I just don't know if I need to, because I have to throw the next fight anyway, so... Two levels away from evolution. You can do it. I'm sure somebody's already asked this, and I don't remember if I've answered it, but um, since I have ten Pokemon, and you can't lift ten Pokemon, um, since you can't bring all ten into the Elite Four, I am going to have to pick which ones. It's probably going to be a straw poll, and, and then, like... I don't know if I'll go in with six or if I'll pick five just so I have two even teams of five. And then, like, I'll go through it with the winning team, like, the, t the team that gets the most votes, and then I'll, have, I'll, like, do it again with the backup squad. Just so everybody gets representation. There's a burb. We cannot reach burb quite yet. I just had a really awful thought. Uh, Burb isn't going to despawn, is he? 
because I'm going to be losing a fight here and then triggering a battle on Route 8. And Route 8 doesn't have any stuff to despawn, so the game might look at this as the most recent area and get rid of a sprite. I really hope that's not the sprite it gets rid of. So, after doing this, I might want to come back here and check before I save. That I didn't even think about that until just now. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, so anyway. Let's, uh... Die to wild Pokemon? Or is that what we're gonna do? No, I can just lose to this. I, I, the thing is, I don't know what this trainer's first Pokemon is, and we're not gonna lose to an Onyx. Onyx can't do shit. Come on, give me like a Machoke, which I need to catch, actually, so don't give me a Machoke. Give me like a Graveler. <sighs> I mean, I can always just spam Poke Flute. At this rate, I'm pretty sure this guy's first Pokemon is going to be stronger than the Wild Encounter, so whatever. Let's just do this. So I need to lose to his first Pokemon, which is a Drowsy. Oh boy. Let's get ready to spam Pokeflute for several... Oh, you better not keep switching. Okay. <laughs> like, if you just switch back and forth constantly, then we're in for a bad time here. Stop doing that. Come on. Oh, fuck. Hold on. This, the fact that he's switching is actually quite a big problem, because... His... I need to make sure that I end on the Pokemon with the stat that I need. God damn it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what? I'll cut back in a second after I do the necessary research. Okay, I need to end on the Drowsy, so if he sends out the Hypno or whatever, I'll kill it. Um, that's really dumb. Why did? Why is this one Muglitch trainer, like, I, mean, I guess this is the last one I have to do it on, so, like, this is the final boss. So, like, let's introduce switching into the mix. And I have to worry about despawning Moltres. I don't know. Stop doing that. I don't care for that one bit. Alright, kill the hip now. The problem is, switching takes effect before my attacks do, so I have to, like, I want to kill the hypno, but if he switches back to the drowsy, I have to, like, make sure it doesn't die. So stupid. Okay, you're dead. Please switch back to the freaking drowsy. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Hold on. No, actually, let's not. I was going to say X accuracy guillotine, but if he switches to the drowsy, then that's a guaranteed kill. Submission is resisted, so... Okay. You're gone. Please go back to the drowsy. He also has two Kadabras. I don't know if he's going to switch to those. Uh, this fucking guy. Come on. Don't switch to the other Kadabra, please. Attack me. Do you have a move that isn't poison gas? Thank you. God, I should have lost to the wild Pokemon if I had known this was coming. Okay. Thank you. Last one. Don't switch. Please don't fucking switch. Alright, I'm gonna die from poison. Event. Oh mm, my god. Uh. I'm afraid to use Hyper Beam. What if he switches again? Drowsy's bulky. Kadabra isn't. Hopefully this will be okay. Alright. Fuck. Don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> I have to make sure it only he can only kill me when I'm prepared for it. Use Psychic. Thank you. Okay. We're good. 
I died with the correct Pokemon out. We're safe. I'm back in... Okay. Ugh. And now you get to see what all this was for. So let's put everybody away. Keep one Pokemon just for random backup, I guess. Here, where's... Firebird, get out of here. And, of course, I forgot my flying tool, so whatever. Get out here. Where are you? I'm like, I'm still so... Shit, like, th that last battle was so fucking bad. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with myself at the moment. Alright. Please say this worked. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that was all for a Raichu, because fucking Firebird here is an elitist and won't evolve. And neither will Firebird's uh, clone. Davey. That's the name we're going with. No. Um, Daryl. We'll call the other one Daryl. It's not actually nicknamed that, but I'm going to call it that now. Um, and then Gust Criticals, and I have to redo that whole process. Yeah, you know what? I'm not actually attacking anymore. Just... Okay. Now, I wish I could say I was done. I've got the Raichu. That was my main concern. Now we have to make sure Moltres didn't despawn. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna check. And then I'm gonna frickin' end this video because this has been... Like... I don't know what this video was, but... It was not pleasant. So, that, that's that's one thing I can say about it. Let's at least bring in the team that I want, though. Probably just the same team I had before. So, yeah, you. You. Spagooblio leveled up, so I might bring somebody else. You, I guess. You. Eh, whatever. Fine with me. I'm not going to be too picky. So, if Moltres didn't despawn, it might have also despawned one of the item balls, but I don't care about that as much. I kind of doubt there's... Well, I don't know. There might be unique TMs. I'll have to double check. Because honestly, if Moltres did despawn... It would be annoying, but I could Mew Glitch it in. Like, I'm going to have to get a second one that method anyway. But, uh... If a TM that I want disappeared, there's no way to get that back. So I guess technically that is worse. But I guess... I won't worry about it too much. Solve this puzzle for the fourth goddamn time. And of course, encounter before I even take a step go. Can we get six more encounters before I get to the ladder? Can we do it? There's one. Come on, six more encounters. There, yeah, pretty much. Could be using a repel here. Not sure why I'm not. And... Okay. Bird is not despawned. That is good. Um... That is a victory for me. Victory on Victory Road, so we're just gonna frickin' save. And we'll finish up this place next time. God, this was a bad video. <laughs> it was... What the hell was this? Huh? I said, what the hell was this? Like, just what I was doing, or...? Yeah. <laughs> I know there are 150 Pokemon out there, but is there really one more adorable than Pikachu? <laughs> I don't think so.